Amen. It is a beautiful, beautiful day here at Scalp Logic, and uh, we have a density fill. That sounds so like um, like we're like working on like a, a robot or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's not too common that we can add density to existing hairlines. We have a running joke, you know, all the guys that say that, they have like five hairs on the top of their head. Like, yeah, I don't want to shave down. I just want density. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're not a candidate. But uh, He's a really this gentleman good here candidate. is a really great example of someone who has enough hair. And what's really cool is so we are staying behind the hairline, which gives him a lot more play for the future. If he wants to keep it long, if he wants to shave down, he's got a lot of options. So once we exceed the natural hairline, for example, like right here, if we were to, I'm not, I can't yeah, touch it. If we were it. to go outside of where his hair grows, he would have to shave down to keep it shorter so that the contrast would not be too great and it would always maintain the realism. We get a lot of questions on that. Yeah, I don't know how many people are on there right now, but you should, um, to the best of your ability, think of those questions. That's, that's, to have a visual and answer yes. those questions, I think would be really, really great. Yeah, so seeing the hairline, okay guys, um, if you want to have SMP, like if you want to bring the hair down, obviously a little bit lower to get that frame, like let's say your hairline is pushed back, right? Was it Jay Valentino pushed back to the 70s or something? Yes. If your hairline is pushed back and you want to exceed <laughs> and bring it down further to give that frame to your face, you would have to shave down just to make it look natural and realistic. But if you have a good hairline and you just want to fill in the areas, like for example, if you're balding a little bit in the back or if like when you go out in the sun or you're, you get out of the pool, you can kind of see through your hair. It's almost like the see-through look that's when we can do a density fill. So just some things to keep in mind. I hope I explained that right. Yeah, it's confusing. I was going to give it a go myself. And you guys, please ask any questions. And you know you guys can always text us on the line and give us a call. Um, I feel like a lot of people, like, at first they're, like, hesitant to call because they think we're going to be, like, well, when are you ready to come in? Like, book your appointment. And that's how, that's so not how we are. If I can just kind of elaborate on what you just said about, you know, who's a candidate yes. for density fill and who, who has to shave is what we'll tell yes. These areas right here, you know, most guys male pattern bald this now you can't see because we already did a, 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 some ink in there. But on this side, you can still see. I haven't touched yet. Um, this area right here, this pocket, if he mm -hmm. loses all of this, doesn't have any kind of hair there, yes. if he's back here, we're telling this gentleman you have to shave it because now we would have to recreate the line with our impressions, wouldn't we? But, again, he has enough, just enough for a few more years, hopefully, get another 20 years out of that something, but he'll have some options. So he'll definitely have some options. So hopefully that registers. But also maintaining the balance that if in the future he all ever wanted, decided to shave down, he would be able to. Oh, that's right. right. That's yeah. the balance that's, I mean, I think so many places have a really hard time. It's kind of like somebody comes in for a density fill and they're like, let's, uh, as Joe says, let's go ham and make it as dark as possible. Not realizing that that might not be a permanent hairstyle, a hair look for you. Yeah, so from an art artist perspective, you know, when we're density fills, a lot of times what people really want, they don't want the impressions. They want like a Sharpie marker, just fill all the scalp in so my hair can, can be free. And um, that's what some people what really want. But what they don't think about is when they shave down, if, exactly. if we do some ink like that, it would look so unsavory. Yep. Um, so it's a really important conversation. And to yes. Nicole's point, a lot of people aren't, aren't having those conversations. So. Yeah. Or and more than anything, I think they're just thinking of the here and now. They're not necessarily That's preparing right. for the future. That's right. And it's kind of like hair loss is obviously overwhelming. So it's like, okay, what can I do? How can I remedy this situation at this exact moment? Well, no, that's, um, I don't think S&P worldwide is credible, is accepted. And I think that's a big part of it. Artists aren't thinking enough about that. And uh... Think about the future, guys. Think about your future, <laughs> the client's futures. And hey, what's up? We had a comment a little bit ago. We were. You know. well, I think you should point out, by the way, yes. this is a little more red than than most guys get, right? Yes. This is this is on the um, the more extreme side of getting red and irritated, which yes. is no, nothing to worry about. There's absolutely nothing nothing to. to Everybody's to worry about. different. We have some guys that barely get any red, and some guys that I mean can get really like as red as a tomato. 
But if anyone is, is a little nervous about how red this gentleman is right now, again, one to two days, all the redness will be gone. So super normal. We just got a comment that his, thick, his hair is super thick and that he has to shave down every single day. No, he doesn't have to shave every day. Uh, no. He's had SP done. Oh, oh, his own hair. I thought yeah. you were mentioning. <laughs> no, 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 no. His own hair. Uh, yeah, no, that's a lot of guys, my friend. That's, um, I don't know if I have to shave down every day, but I, I do because um, once I see my native hair growing out, yeah, I definitely, I don't feel as clean, you know, it doesn't feel as tight. So, yeah, it's a lot of guys. But you can usually day. go about a day and a half. Sometimes you can even get away with two days. But once, no, that's what I said. I don't have yeah. to. I don't have to have to. He says that his hair grows quick. Yeah, I can already, uh, you know, I see those guys, you know, Latin guys are still pretty young, have that thick hair left over. You can really see where the uh, transition is. He's like, and it's thick. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll be a little different. I mean, we're always having the opposite conversation, but my first question, I wonder, without having a visual, is could you, could you use a little more ink to, to kind of bridge them together? The, uh, I wonder. Well, as our philosophy is always building up, what kind of shaver do you use, Joe? Did you use today? Yeah. Um, Oh gosh, what is it? They, is it Andy? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, the five star, the five star foil shaver. Um, I actually made a video on our YouTube channel here mm -hmm. um, of me shaving it down and kind of giving my best my best efforts of insight. We just heard about a new one too. I think one of the clients uh, brought up a really good one, right? We yeah, haven't checked it out um, yet. It's a hand, handheld blade shaver, I think, right? Yeah, I, I we have it, so it'd be cool. We're gonna order it in and do a little demo for you guys gonna have joe grot his hair again <laughs> no, absolutely not we'll get somebody else <laughs> that, was, that was tough that was i it remember was tough. you're all anybody he didn't he didn't want to do anything no videos didn't want to go anywhere get the hoodie on Look at that. Is he shaving his head or blending in with his current hair? He is sha He is uh, blending in with his current hair. As we were saying in the beginning, um, I think you missed it. He is a perfect candidate for density. So he doesn't need to shave down and we're staying behind the hairline. Therefore, we can fill it in and still keep that realism. And he has the option in the future if he ever decides to shave down, he can do that or keep it long. The balance, the balance. It feels so like weird with no music on. It does feel a little strange. It does feel strange. We always have music on or just relaxing music or podcast or just, you know, creating that awesome environment. How many sessions is this gentleman receiving? Um, so this is his first session. Everybody is a little bit different, obviously. Um, so what we're thinking he's going to need about three or, four. three or four is where he'll, that'll probably be his uh, sweet spot. Mm -hmm. And hold on, guys. I didn't see you guys' messages. There we go. Uh, nice. I like shaving my head. So bald's choice. Yeah, I find that a lot of guys, like once they get over that initial, um, okay, I'm shaving down, they actually enjoy it. It's it's low maintenance. It's pretty awesome. It's it's funny. It's, yeah, it's definitely like a, it's like psychological warfare for a lot of guys. Some guys can just do it right away. Yes. Uh, but it's a big struggle for a lot of guys, isn't yes. it, to shave down? But honest, like... It, um, I guess I could understand like in the 50s or in the 60s, but now it's so fashionable. I, I heard one of our consultations, um, we were speaking with a gentleman and he was like, it's so stylish. Like when you see a man like in a tux and like he's bald, it it's not like, oh, he's like kind of like the the conception before where it used to be, oh, he's a, a gang guy or <laughs> he's Mr. Clean or sure. it's not like that anymore. It's like he's stylish. It's like very well accepted. And then Mr. Pete, you message, for a density fill, how long should you wear your hair after for best effect? Oh, yeah, that's contingent upon yep. your situation. Everybody's badly. so different. You can always send us some pictures, and we can give you some suggestions of what we think would be best. Um, it's always a great option. Everybody's so widely different, though. I mean, that's what's so beautiful about this 
treatment is that it's all customized. We're never going to have one guy, two guys with the exact same situation, the exact same skin. It's all customized. And let me know, can you guys see everything up close? Is it looking gorgeous? And he has really nice, juicy skin. Mm. I had to incorporate the juicy a little yeah, bit. Had to. Just had to. For people who work in the sun. Okay, so it's okay once it's healed. But originally, and you know, right after you have the treatment, we want to have you avoid. So we do have a lot of gentlemen that are a bit more active in the sun. Now, what we do with them is like, we'll have them either take a day off or they'll come in, for example, they'll come in on a Thursday and they don't have to be back to work till Monday. So we'll really work with you on your schedule to make sure that you're going to be avoiding being in sunlight. And what about after <clears throat> he has his treatment done, like for the life of it? Yeah, for the life of it, you're definitely going to want to protect your skin just like you would normally with sunblock, with a hat. Um, this is this is what we specialize in, I think, at, at Scout Logic. I really, I should say Nicole specializes in. Again, <clears throat> I reference the custom, custom to your lifestyle, custom yes. to your skin, all, all those different variables moving. Uh, but that's a conversation we would we would have and we would just, it would be an ongoing conversation, you know? Yes. Like Nicole said, we would do our best to um, help you navigate through getting the treat done, but then also for the life of it. You definitely don't want to get sun damage. Exactly. So some guys can go out in the sun for an hour or two, and it's fine. Some guys, mm -hmm. after 20 minutes, they need to cover it up and put a hat on, put some SPF on. So, you know, identifying how much sun you can get first is, is kind of how we start answering that yes. question. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys have a lot of comments today. Do we recommend any um, matte products to your clients? So we actually do have some products that we give out to our clients that we make in-house. Um, you know, just, and then we do recommend different things. Like we try to use everything as natural and as clean as possible, meaning minimum ingredients. Um, and then you work in the sun. Oh, okay. So you have, you know, first firsthand what it's like to have S&P done and working in the sun. And then Mr. Pete asked, can you use alcohol-based products like Rogaine? So, yeah, go, go ahead. No, no, no go ahead. I, I just think Rogaine in general is, uh, man, it just keeps your hopes up, man. I mean, I, I know it works for some guys, so respect. But, um, you know, first and foremost, I would, I would highly suggest you, especially if you're going to get S&P done, drop the Rogaine. Well, but to answer the question, yes, you can, you can wear Rogaine. You yes. can use Rogaine. It's not going to be an issue. No, nope. We'll yeah. have you stop using it a couple of days before and then even a couple of days after. But once we're done, you'll be fine. All righty, guys. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this session. So thank you. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and give us a call. 424-335-3495. Thank you.